before we go into detail about using formulas in Excel, we unfortunately just need to remind you of a basic rule that exists in maths that Excel applies and you have to give thought to when you're using formulas in Excel. So just to show you, we've got a couple of options here. And notice that, let's say we've got someone has spoken to us and said, I'm going to give you 20 and then half of 100. That is a, quite a different calculation from someone saying they're going to put 20 and 100 together and then we'll share it. How Excel works is it applies a concept called BODMAS. And the way BODMAS works is it looks at certain things first. So in this case, there are two possible answers depending on what rules you apply and the maths rule makes sure you follow the correct one. So we could say 20 plus 100 is 120 divided by 2 is 60. However, the BODMAS rule says multiplications, brackets and divisions come first. So that is incorrect. The way it's going to work is it's going to first say 100 divided by 2 is 50. Then you plus your 20, so it gives us 70. If what you actually meant was this, you actually meant that these two numbers would be added together and then you divide by 2, you have to put brackets in. Because now Excel knows, even though it wants to use the division first, the brackets is the overriding factor. It first does what's in the, whatever's in the bracket, so that's 120, then divide by 2, and it gives us 60. So just to prove that that's the way Excel works, we're going to create these calculations. So here we've entered it as text, just so you can see it. But if I type it, I'm going to say equals, and notice up here the equal sign. The calcula Excel now knows it's got a calculator switched on. I'm going to type 20 plus 100 divided by 2. When I click enter, you'll see it comes up with 70. Because what it's done is first the division, then the addition. Here it's different, we're going to type equals, open bracket, 20 plus 100, close bracket. So Excel's going to work that out first. And I'll say divide by 2, and you'll see it gives me a 60. So in this case, let's add those two together, divided by 2. So this is going to become very important when you're doing formulas in Excel. Because what you mean must be explicit to Excel. If you don't provide guidance with brackets, it's going to then just apply the bod mass rules and it'll go through the, the general maths rules and get the calculation based on that. And as you can see, the answers are different. So if you actually meant this, but you entered it like that, you're 10 out and vice versa. So you need to think about that and we highly recommend the use of brackets to make it clear what is being done. So in this case, even in this case, what we would have rather done, instead of hoping that someone looking at it remembers the bod mass rules, we would have actually put brackets around here to make it very clear what is happening in that cell.